The Windows search bar. Now, many of you may be using this super useful tool built into the Windows operating system, this little guy down here. Now, this search bar can be really helpful when you're trying to find something on your computer or you're trying to find something online. It lets you do both. It's kind of like the browser search bar, but better because again, it lets you search things locally and online. So super useful tool that Windows left in the operating system built in for us, okay? But what do you do when it stops working? I guess this has been an issue for many people out there, whether you're on Windows 10 or 11, it seems to pop up from time to time. So in this video, my computer works wants to give you five easy troubleshooting steps that you can take on your computer to help you fix the Windows search bar not working, the one down in the taskbar, that guy right there. So let's go over to the computer screen and I'll walk you through how to go through these five troubleshooting steps on your own. Let's go. All right, for this first troubleshooting step, we're gonna need to get our task manager open. And I love showing you guys new shortcuts on your keyboard. So here's a new one in case you didn't know it that we haven't really gone over. Control, shift, escape, task manager is gonna pop up when you hit those three. So go ahead and hit control, shift, and escape on your keyboard, get your task manager up, and you'll see you have a services tab, right? On Windows 10 and 11, they both have a service tab, services tab at the, uh, usually near the end, and that is going to show all the services that you have running on your computer. Now, I would recommend clicking on name so that it organizes them alphabetically so you don't have to go on a wild goose search to find the search, Windows search option. Once you have them uh, organized by the, the name, alphabetical order, you're going to scroll down and find Windows search, you're going to right click, and you're going to do restart. So that's step one, the first troubleshooting step that you would take if your Windows search bar stopped working. All right, step two, we're going to try to rebuild our Windows search index. Okay, now this one is a little bit more complicated, a couple more steps in the first one, but definitely still something any user could do out there. Okay, so let's get control panel open, however you want to do it, I'm going to show you one way, we're going to do uh, Windows key and R on our keyboard. Then we're gonna type in control into the bar right there and press okay. That's gonna take us over to our control panel. We're gonna search indexing options in here, to get the indexing option section open, okay? We're going to go to the advanced setting by selecting the advanced tab under indexing option. And then with the troubleshooter menu, we can do the option rebuild and actually rebuild the indexing for the Windows search bar, right? So the Windows search index will, will be rebuilt, re rebuilt and, and hopefully that fixes the issue, okay? Uh, you might get a warning that appears that says that it's going to take a long time. That's okay. You can press okay. And then when it's done, you would reboot the device. So that is step two. All right. Now step three is one of my favorite tools for fixing the windows operating system. It's really useful uh, for fixing the windows operating system. It's a built-in tool. It's called DISM and SFC. Now DISM just stands for deployment image servicing and management. And SFC is system file check, right? So, that is our system file checker rather. And what it basically does is to put it simply, it looks at your Windows operating system and if it sees issues with it, it fixes it. Now, that's the really simple way to put it, but that's the best way to put it for without getting too complicated. So this basically fixes your Windows operating system and it can fix multiple issues. And in this case, we're hoping that it would fix the uh, Windows search bar not working, right? So we're gonna go ahead and open up the task manager again. And at the top, we're gonna to choose file and we're gonna to go to run new task, right? And when that pops up, we're gonna do CMD in the bar, hit okay. Now you might have to do this as an admin, you might have to run it as an admin, but what you're gonna do is DISM plus SFC scan. Now, just like this here, I'll leave the command that you would put into uh, command prompts, I'll leave that down in the description case anybody's confused about what to type in. Uh, this is a pretty universal fix, right? So even Windows recommends uh, using this fix. You know, Microsoft employees, technicians will recommend this fix a lot for issues within the Windows operating system. So we're gonna go ahead and run it and hope that fixes the issue. So that would be step three, is the uh, DISM and SFC scan, which you can learn a lot more about online, or we can go into another video and talk more about that, but today, just kind of giving you an introduction to it, but it is there and that would be my step three. Now step four, step four is going to be checking for updates. And this one seems really simple, but actually just updating your system 
sometimes can fix the issue. If you install an update, um, it'll provide bug fixes, new features and optimizations. Obviously, that's what comes with new updates, but it can also fix issues with the operating system at the time, like the Windows search bar not working. In fact, an out of date operating system could be what's causing your search bar not to work. So just updating your system could fix the issue. And actually, number five, right behind number four, th these are both really simple. Um, I'm giving the simple ones at the end. This is if, you know, your troubleshooting isn't working and that's to run the built in troubleshooter. So if you go to run command again, so Windows key and R and you open up your control panel and you go to system and security and then troubleshooting, you can run the built in troubleshooter. Sometimes that will fix the issue. However, I will say being proactive and doing steps one through three is probably going to be your best bet for getting that for getting that working again. Uh, but th there always are the built in troubleshooter and then obviously installing Windows updates. So Windows updates being pretty key. Also, if your system's out of date, it could definitely be causing the issue. Uh, but the last two are pretty simple. First three, I will definitely say um, a lot more heavy on the troubleshooting in. So if you have any trouble with it, as I always say, you know, we're here. My computer works. Our numbers at the beginning and the end of the video. If that search bar is just not working at the moment, give us a call and we'll give you a hand. Thank you, everyone, and see you on the next one.